the EIA is actually sent as a, as a submission to the Department of Environment, the Department of Environment will review the, the, uh, the EIA and then they will submit a summary report of their findings to the NIAC and the NIAC will sit if it is once, two or three meetings to make a final decision on whether or not uh, they give uh, an ECP which is an environmental compliance plan and, a, and a, a compliance plan for them to be able to start their operations. Um, in all projects, especially large projects, there will be some type of environmental uh, damage or there are concerns for environmental damage. And so what the, the report has to do is to look at the EIA comprehensively and look at where these can be mitigated. If they can, then they will uh, ask that some of these uh, submissions within the EIA are corrected uh, and, all, and then that is considered looking at the financial aspect, the economic aspect, the environmental aspect and the social aspect of that project and after that then it is submitted to the NIAC and uh, the NIAC might also be able to send back to the Department for Environment saying listen these things are okay but one or two things need to be fixed and if the company is willing to to resubmit or to fix those, then uh, the NIAC recommends to the DOE their position. Uh, the DOE can either accept the recommendation or reject that recommendation.